In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an Instagram bot that can help you get more followers. We'll be using a library in Python called Insta API, which is an unofficial Instagram API. If you don't have Python installed, you can watch this video I made showing you the download process. I'll also be using VS Code to write all my code in. And before we start, please remember to like the video, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications. Please also check out my other social media to see other projects that I'm currently working on. And if you'd like to support me even further, then please check out my Patreon account. So I'm in Visual Studio Code right now, but before we make the bot, I want to give the general idea of what the bot's going to do. First of all, it's going to log into Instagram, then it's going to search for a certain topic that you're interested in, like pixel art, game development, crypto stuff, whatever it is. Your bot's going to look for these posts. Then the bot will like a random amount of these posts, potentially leave nice comments, and then follow the user too, in hopes that they check out your account in return and follow back. One other thing I want to mention is that this video is for educational purposes, and that you should use the the bot responsibly because bots are generally against Instagram's terms of service. I'd recommend that if you use the bot, check afterwards which accounts the bot followed and see if these are accounts that you would like to see posts from in the future. Now that we understand the general idea, let's add a new file in VS Code and call it something like follower underscore bot dot pi. Before we write the code, we need to install the Instagram API library first. So in Visual Studio, on the bottom left, click this button and go to the terminal. Then type pip install insta gr API and press enter. After this, do the same for a library called schedule. We'll use this to schedule when our bot should come online. After this, we can finally go ahead and import all the libraries we'll be using. The first one is Insta API which I'm going to call Instagram API from now on. The second one is random so that we can add random functions so that Instagram has a bit more of a difficult time detecting the bot. We'll also import time to use time-based functionality. And lastly, schedule. For the next part, we're going to add our Instagram usernames and passwords as strings. But please keep in mind that if Instagram detects the bot account, they will ban your account. So please don't use your main account's email or password. I'd suggest making an email account on Google, which is what I did. Also, don't share your password or email email. I'm just sharing mine because it's a test account, which I plan on deleting after the video. Next, let's create a list of tags that the bot will search for. Make sure to add a few random ones for more randomness. I've added four in mine, but you can add any amount and any topics. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. We'll do the same thing for comments too. So here are the comments that I'll leave. Make sure to add a few in here. Now we can create the main function that will actually search for these posts and follow the users and all of that. We'll call this function search tags. And inside of it, we'll use the Instagram API library to create a client object and then log in using the login details we just made above. All of this will make our bot log into Instagram. What I'm going to do next is decide on a random amount of posts that I want the bot to interact with. So I'm going to keep mine quite low just because I don't want Instagram to get too suspicious. I'm going to make my bot choose between one and five inclusively, but you can choose your own numbers. Just make sure that they don't go over 27. Then I'm going to make the bot sleep for a random amount of milliseconds between two and seven seven seconds. This will make our bot wait a bit before continuing directly after logging in. Then I'll choose a random tag from the list we made at the top earlier and I'll use the client.hashtag media's recent function to search for recent posts using this hashtag. I'm going to use print functions just to follow along with the code when it eventually does run. At this point in the code we have a list of posts stored in the hashtag posts variable. What I'd like to do now is to decide randomly on which posts we're going to interact with. So I'll make an empty list called chosen post IDs and it will store the IDs of all the posts that the bot will interact with. Then I'm going to make a for loop that will loop for the number of posts we want to interact with and inside of this for loop we'll choose a random index for the post we want to interact with. Then I'll create a while loop that will check if the index is already inside of the chosen post IDs list because we don't want to interact with the same post twice. Then at the end we can append this ID to the list. Now comes the fun part, actually interacting with the posts. So for each interaction type we want. I'm going to print out some data first and then I'm going to add the percentage chance of the bot actually liking the post. We want to randomize this because we can't like, comment and follow the user for every single post. That's obviously spam and will be detected as bot behavior. So let's start with like. I'm going to create a like variable and set it to true and then I'll give the bot a 50% chance to turn this into false which will stop the bot from liking because this like variable will now be set to false. We can do the exact same thing 
for follow and comment, except we have to change the percentages. Also keep in mind that the number you put here is reversed. So 25 means 75% chance of following and 90 means 10% chance of commenting. You can play around with these numbers as you like. Then we can retrieve the media and user IDs so we know which post we're interacting with and who the owner of that post is. We can then add another sleep that's supposed to simulate the user looking at the posts. This one will choose any millisecond amount from four to eight seconds. We'll then check if follow is true. And if it is, we'll sleep again for a bit. Then we'll try and like the post using the user follow function. If this gives an error, just print out too many follow requests. And at the end, we can print user followed. We can do the exact same thing for liking and commenting too. Just change the functions like this. And the prints can be anything that makes sense to you, but this is what mine look like. Right, so that's really all the code to get the bot working but now we need to do the scheduling so i'll paste the whole chunk of code and then explain the bot will choose two random times at the top here the first one chooses an hour between 8 and 11 in the morning and any minute between 0 and 59 the second one does the same but its hours are set to anything between 13 and 15 you can change this as you'd like this part here will create the actual schedule using the times we chose at the top then we'll print the information and inside of a while true loop the bot will continuously check if there are any pending schedules that need to be executed. Okay, so that was a lot of code, but I want to mention some stuff before we test it. When you want to run the bot, make sure to run it before the first time schedule. Also, you have to keep your computer on for scheduling to work. One last thing to note is that it's a good idea to rerun the bot every morning. Otherwise, it won't make more schedules after the first two are done. But anyway, let's go and test it. All right, so I have the bot on the right and Instagram on the left. And there's actually a few changes we have to make. Otherwise, you're going to get errors. So I didn't notice this, but you have to make sure that these are two digits. So 10 to 59 is an easy fix. But I suggest you do the same. And then the exact same for the hours. We can't have any one digit numbers here. And then also make sure to call the function here. So you have to add search tags. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to test this. Once you're done testing, you can take this part away right there. So I have Instagram open on the left, but this bot is actually not going to control this Instagram tab, I just have it open so that we can follow the bot as it does stuff. So I'm going to run it right there. And because we have a bunch of delays, so like time.sleeps and stuff, we are going to have to wait a bit. And I might actually speed up the video in some areas. But for now, we can see that I am following four users. I'm not sure which posts I've already liked. We can actually probably go check your activity likes. I've only liked these three things, it seems comments, um, yeah, so I have tested the bot in the past, as you can see. Oh, it's interacting with something. So this post has this caption and we, inter we, ser we searched for indie game. So let's see what it ends up doing. Let's go back to the account. It says user followed. So if I refresh this, it should, there we go. Five people following now. It didn't do anything for this first post because there is a chance that happens. And it only followed and liked this user's post and then it's scheduled for these times. So let me go check your activity. And yeah, I'd like to this post. Okay, we could try and run the bot again, but I am scared Instagram kind of detects that this is a bot, but I guess for demonstration purposes, we can go ahead and try. All right, so I ran the bot again. Let's see what it ends up doing. Okay, it says user followed. That's basically all we did, it seems. Let's refresh. It's gonna interact with three more posts. Okay, six people following six people. Okay, let's refresh again. Eight following, it's following eight people now. And another user followed and liked. I guess we can go to liked here, your activity. Yeah, so it liked these three posts in the last two runs that we did. And then it's scheduled some more times because we're we're done basically. Congratulations on making your follower bot. That's it for the tutorial. But please remember to like, subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. Please also check out my other social media and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.